Have you ever wondered what a day consists of being a veterinarian at a wildlife hospital? Toronto Wildlife Centre is one of the busiest wildlife centres in the country, providing daily veterinary care to animals in need. Being so unique, there's always a lot going on and many patients to see, which requires a rotating team of vets and registered veterinary technicians. Here's what some moments of their days look like. Hi, I'm Dr. Cameron Berg, one of the clinical vets on the veterinary team, and we're gonna go start our rounds with our patients. We're gonna basically go through and look at all the patients and make sure that they're doing very well, making sure that they're eating, all their diseases or injuries that they came in with are being treated in an appropriate way and that they're responding well and help address any issues that have come up in their care while they're here. Let's get started. So like every patient that comes into TWC, we perform a head to tail physical exam to look for any kinds of issues or injuries. So we just got in a short eared owl who presented with this history of having these short spurts of flight. So probably something wrong and we're going to go through and try to find out what that could be. So we go through our physical exam. I usually start at the head and move our way down. Other things that we might do is we might do x-rays. Sometimes we do them routinely just to check if we've missed anything and other times we have the suspicion to do so. We'll also collect blood in order to look at this basic blood work and sometimes a more comprehensive blood panel. Other things we do is we make sure we check out their ears, and especially in the owls who have these large ears. And we'll also look at anything that might affect their feather quality. So in this guy, very large, though probably normal for a species, uropygial gland or preen gland, which secretes the oils that help keep their feathers nice and healthy. So, so far his physical exam actually looks very good. He's very bright, nothing on his x-rays, but it's possible that sometimes they just come in because they hit a window and stun themselves. And they, overall it's a minor injury, but for the time they were a bit sore and stunned. Um, so we'll see what the issue is and monitor them over time. So as we go about our day, usually what we do is we look at kind of new patients or more critical cases, patients who are still in the early stages of healing and recovering from whatever kind of injuries or diseases that have brought them in managing them, monitoring them, making sure they're going in the right direction, and if they're not, changing our treatment courses to try to make sure that they're getting the kind of care that they need. Here, wildlife veterinary intern Dr. Catherine Malhot, alongside wildlife rehabilitator Clements, examines a snake that was just brought into assessment after a homeowner found the animal inside the rails of their sliding door. So we got a little brown snake that just came in today. Uh, so unfortunately, it has a very serious um, injury to its spine, and we are going to do some x-rays for it. We take a picture and we are able to uh, find a lesion and really come up with a treatment plan. So here we have the x-ray of the snake. So the head is over here. This is the very long spine, which is what we wanted to look at. And we can see uh, each little vertebra and the ribs associated with it. We have the injury here. So there's like a, a little V-shaped point. And when we zoom in, unfortunately, we can see a little fragment there. So there is a fracture and what we call displacement. We're still hopeful that with time and rest and the patient is still showing movement, we are hoping that with medication we can avoid much more swelling and we can be hopeful that he will continue to improve. Sometimes, diagnostic testing and physical exams indicate to the veterinary team that a patient may require a specific procedure, like this grebe who veterinarian Dr. Diana Sinclair and head registered veterinary technician Joe are preparing for surgery. So we recently admitted a redneck grape who had a very large injury on his head and neck. And because of the type of species that he is, he needs to be perfectly water-based. They're diving birds, they go, they hunt in the water, they live in the water, they're pretty much always in the water. And having this big wound on his neck and head can destroy them and that was room for them to get waterlogged, to catch hypothermia. So we performed surgery to repair the wound. Uh, it's imperative that when we do this kind of wound repair that we're lining up all the feathers correctly and that we are completely covering that area to ensure that the water placement is perfect for this bird. So we anesthetized this patient and Dr. Janina was able to repair the wound successfully. It was quite an extensive surgery with quite an extensive wound, but he came through and we are very happy with the way that the repair happened. Thankfully, this grave could now begin their recovery and care. The veterinary team is responsible for overseeing the entire medical journey for each animal. So monitoring a patient's progress is just as vital as a life-saving surgery. Here, volunteer veterinarian Dr. Kristen Deinst 
and registered veterinary technician Nichelle are checking on a squirrel who's been in care for a while. Before, she was thin, dehydrated, and suffering from a tail injury. Today, they're seeing how she's responded to treatment. We just assessed this young female squirrel that had some issues with her tail. It was noted to have a bit of weakness and a kink at the tip. So we were just watching her run around, seeing if she can use the tail properly, seeing if she can climb. And she did look to have some weakness, but we're going to be reassessing her in a larger space to see if she can adjust to use her tail a bit better, get it more time. But medically, everything looked pretty good. So what I like most about working at TWC as a wildlife veterinarian is I love how different every day is. I get to see a large variety of animals with a large variety of interesting kinds of cases and issues that bring them here. And I love being able to spend my time, my knowledge, and all my training in order to try to help them and also teach people how to take better care of them. And so it's a pretty big responsibility to have and something that I enjoy being able to dedicate myself to. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell to be notified when we share new content. We would also love if you shared this video with a friend.